Welcome to The Debrief, where we talk with the Washington Examiner's top journalists about the headlines they're covering this week and where the story's going next. I'm Sarah Westwood, and I'm here with commentary editor Con Carroll. And Con, the Department of Justice is unsealing some documents related to the FBI raid of Donald Trump's home in Mar-a-Lago, and not others. Can you tell us where everything stands in terms of the paper trail of that raid? Sure. So they got a warrant to search uh, Donald Trump's residence in, in Florida, and they've already released um, the actual warrant, which says what specific laws they believe Donald Trump has uh, broken, um, and the receipt for what they took. Although the receipt was very vague, it was like box 13A, it could be anything that we don't know. So what is much more specific is the affidavit that is filed with that warrant that says very specifically what they're looking for, who did it, and, wh and why they all of a sudden want to do this. So there's a hearing on Thursday um, in front of a judge, the same judge that approved the warrant, um, and that judge will then uh, probably not rule on Thursday, but will um, hear arguments from actually it's a bunch of media companies. So you have Judicial Watch, which is a conservative nonprofit, they're part of this motion, mm -hmm. NBC News, CBS News, a whole bunch of news organizations. They're all filing with the court, asking the court to release this affidavit. And uh, Trump is saying, yeah, sure, absolutely, you wanna see it. But the Department of Justice is saying, no, we do not wanna let this go because it would uh, give too much information to Trump about where this investigation is going. You wrote in the Washington Examiner this week that the specific nature of the allegedly classified documents is really important in determining you know, how brash the FBI raid was. Why is that? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a wide bipartisan consensus that the federal government classifies way too much information. A lot of it you can just get in uh, public source documents. And so it really does matter is the documents that the FBI sees that Merrick Garland signed the warrant off on, are these documents really uh, of, of vital importance to national security, or is it just what Trump had for breakfast that morning, or his correspondence with um, North Korea's president? You know, because if, if it's something where it's just a letter he wrote to somebody, or a letter Obama wrote to him, who cares why we're we doing this? But if it's like nuclear capabilities of one of our allies, like Great Britain, or one of our foes, like North Korea, then yeah, that would be important. So we need to know how important this document is in order to justify or see if Garland's decision was justified. Speaking of a lack of transparency, the Biden administration is not being forthcoming right now on how many migrants are being released into the U.S. Tell us about that. Sure. So every month, the Department of Homeland Security releases um, what's called the Southwest Border Apprehension Numbers. And that just tells you how many uh, migrants were arrested illegally crossing the southern border every month. And they do break it down a little bit as far as how many of those migrants they immediately turn back to Mexico through Title 42, and then how many they take in through what's called Title 8, which is the immigration uh, part of the federal code. But what they don't tell you is of those that they take in through Title 8, how many they then immediately release into the country. Now, for about 18 months, while the um, state of Texas and Missouri was suing the Biden administration, a federal court forced the DHS to release those numbers every month. So we actually had a, a window where we were getting reports about how many migrants they were releasing into the uh, country every month. But after the Supreme Court decision on the Remain in Mexico policy came out, the court is no longer requiring the DHS to do that. But Congress could step in here, right? So there's gonna be a funding um, fight coming up at the end of September. Congress would say, look, DHS, you were clearly producing these numbers for over a year. It's not that difficult. This is important information the American people deserve to know. You should have to file this, this number every month. And I, I think it's an easy win. Well, Khan, thank you so much for being here today. You can get more writing from Khan and the rest of the commentary team at WashingtonExaminer.com.